Hello, my name is Millard Choate. I'm president of Choate Construction Company. I want to thank you, first of all, for taking the time to view this uh, and hear our qualifications. First and foremost, Choate's most valuable asset is its reputation. We invest in our people, we train them, we maintain a high level experience to promote and engender that reputation. Choate has nearly unlimited bonding capacity. Uh, we currently have projects in excess of $100 million under bond. Choate gets involved in all projects, particularly healthcare, from inception, from schematic documents forward. We provide, obviously, budgeting, planning, constructability analyses, and scheduling all the way through completion of the project. We're going to present two healthcare projects. One, Newton Regional Hospital campus, where we've been for 19 years, and two, the Shepherd Spinal Center complex. I hope you will enjoy this clip and hopefully learn a few things about our company and our commitment to healthcare excellence. Thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Jim Stewart. I'm a senior project manager with Choke Construction. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering, and I've been working construction for 25 years, the majority of which has been hospital construction. For the past 19 years, Choke Construction has been working out here at Newton Medical Center. And as you panned around earlier, you've seen a lot of my most recent projects that I've done at Newton Medical Center. Now I'd like to show you uh, aerial photo that we took of Newton Medical Center that shows the entire campus. Over the past 19 years, Choate has built everything on this campus except the initial patient tower, which is right here, this T section. And two of my recent projects that I did myself on uh, Newton Medical Center was in addition to that patient tower. I put a fourth floor vertical addition over the existing three-story patient tower, and I also put a third floor vertical addition over the existing two-story ER building. Next photo shows the uh, Knox Surgical Building. Uh, this was the uh, building that was located on the left-hand side of the first aerial photo. This is an interior shot of the lobby. This actually shows you the construction that was going on on the fourth floor vertical addition of the patient tower that I did just last year. We used a tower crane, an electric tower crane. We did that because of the noise level. We had patients that were residing on the lower three floors while we were building the fourth floor addition, so we had to take a lot of precautions uh, for the patient's safety. Uh, this next aerial photo shows the completion of the fourth floor vertical addition of the patient tower, uh, which is right here over that T section that we saw in the first aerial photo. And the uh, next aerial, is uh, I tried to get an aerial photo that was exactly in the same location as the very first one. And it shows uh, my two uh, most recent projects that I completed over the past three years. This shows the third floor vertical addition on the ER building, and right here is the fourth floor vertical addition on the patient tower building. Uh, like I said, Choate has been building out here for the past 19 years, and we built virtually everything on this campus. And I've been personally involved over the past three years, I've had the pleasure to work on these two vertical addition projects. Hello, my name is Jim Wiedig. I'm the Administrator and Chief Executive Officer of Newton Medical Center in Covington, Georgia. Our hospital is a 97-bed facility and we're located about 30 miles due east of Atlanta. I've been asked by the Choate Construction Company to make a few commentaries about our relationship that we have had. We have first begun with uh, Choate in 1991 and we did that uh, building an emergency room and a laboratory, a physical therapy department, and a cardiopulmonary department. Following that project, we've done a birth care center, a medical office building, a parking deck, a bridge connecting the MOB to the hospital, and we have done a very significant addition to the facility, which is a surgical center and ambulatory area. Our relationship with Choate Construction Company, I would have to tell you, is superb. It has been one that uh, I have valued and one that uh, has helped our hospital over the years. I would point out a couple of things that I think give it this quality. The first one is that with Choate and with the architects, whoever we used, all three of us are together as partners. It's not one of these situations where 
the architect can do his interpretation to the uh, builder and then the builder has to try to work out what goes on in there. The builder has parity with the architect and I like that type of a way of doing business because the builder frequently can find ways in which we can do something better and not have to spend as much money and in the process we come out ahead of the game and so too does the uh, architect in terms of whatever design work they have to do. That relationship has been something that we have relied on since 1991 in our many different construction jobs with Choate Construction. I also find Choate to be one of these companies that I'm able to give them a call and have somebody out here to the hospital that's got expertise in the area of construction management, construction engineering, and construction problem solutions. And they're good at it. If ever there's the necessity, the man whose name is on that black and gold sign will come out and he'll get involved in making the decisions. And I too appreciate that because he's only a phone call away from his customers. I've enjoyed a good close relationship with the firm and I know our hospital, our patients, our doctors, our employees, and especially our community has been well served by the relationship we've had with Choate Construction. And I'd go so far as to say that if you're looking for a project, you want it done right, and you want your interests watched out for, Choate's the firm that you want to do business with. Hi, my name is Rocky Savita. I work with Choate Construction. I've been a field superintendent for 14 years. I've got a Bachelor of Science in Construction from Bradley University, 1982. Uh, we're standing at the entrance to the Shepherd Center, a project that I just completed. Uh, in the background you can see the parking deck. Now I'd like to take you back to the office and show you a little more detail. Now that we're back at the office, I thought it would be interesting to show a series of aerials and describe the project in a little more detail. Um, here you can see we've taken their uh, only day parking area. Uh, we've also already installed shoring and deep foundations. You can see this portion of the building will all be demolished. Uh, and you can see our caisson contractor has mobilized and is on site. You can now see we've uh, uncovered all of the columns that we're going to be tying into and we've actually protected them with roofing. You can see their cooling tower that's on the fifth floor. Also, this is the mid-road. What we've done is we've built a new energy plant in the bottom of the parking deck and we've utilized this mid-road for all the utility work to come up into the building. And you can see again, we're starting slabs in front, bringing up some structure, and also the utility work coming up through the mid. Here, this is a great picture. This is a classic case of, of tight scheduling. What we've got now is our structure is being framed and brought up. We still have the cooling tower in place operation operating. And what we're doing is we're completing our work in the central energy plant, setting the cooling tower, commissioning, and getting all the pipe and flow properly uh, uh, properly calibrated. You can also see the two tower cranes in operation and both swings did go across each other but we had good coordination on site and uh, everything went well. Here again you can see now we've passed and removed the cooling tower that was on the building. Uh, the structure's coming up. You can start seeing the roof screen and you can start seeing some of the other operations taking shape with some of the other miscellaneous steel. The last slide shows the parking deck and housing unit. We've got nine stories of parking 96 units for extended stay. Uh, this project, part of the project, was started so that when the hospital was ready to CFO, the parking deck was open and operational as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about how pleased we were in choosing Choate Construction for our project here. We brought them on very early in the project so we could start working through some value engineering with them and the architectural team together. And given the complexity of this project, it was a very wise decision. When we went through this, the goal was to keep all our beds and services up and running and not let anything interfere. It was to protect the safety of the staff, the safety of the patients, and proceed and get the job done in a timely and efficient manner. And we accomplished that. I think I, we, initially we believed we would drop six beds out of service at one time for about a month. We only ended up dropping three beds out of service. And that was for a period, I think, of less than three weeks. So we were very, very pleased with what became a, a very difficult project to stage, putting a new building on top of an existing building and then going back and renovating old space. So we had a great time doing it. So in the end, I think one of the most important things we found out was that Choate is a very responsible and sensitive contractor in the healthcare arena. And I could highly recommend them to anyone else looking at them for a healthcare project.